hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video today's video is a very beginner basic video like it's like one of the first thing you have to learn before you start sewing fixing a button and in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to be fixing two designs of the four hole button these are two designs of the four hole button four hole when i mean four hole it has a button with four holes basically so in today's video i'm just going to be showing you how to you know fix the two designs this x design and then this double dash design so this is like i said this is a very beginner's video if you're already an advanced tailor an advanced um designer or advanced dressmaker you just want to skip this obviously i know this seems like a very it might look like something very silly for some of you who are already advanced in sewing but believe you me with my experience as a fashion tutor i've come to realize that so many people don't know how to fix buttons so, so many people don't even know how to fix a thread in a needle of course i'll do a tutorial on that just stay please so now let's just get right into this tutorial so the first thing you want to do is thread your needle in your thread thread your needle in your thread you don't want to have it too long because when it gets too long it tends to knot and that will mess up your work and here I have my button yeah this is the four hole button and I want to teach this tutorial because my experience as a fashion teacher has taught me that most people don't know how to fix a button. It might look simple to us fashion, most tailors, but um, I've come to realize that most people don't know how to fix a simple button. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you like, I am going as if I'm teaching my um, three-year-old daughter, so that it's very easy for you to understand and we'll have fun along the way while learning. So what you want to do first is of course have your needle and your thread <coughs> and then here is the button this is the first one we are going to be fixing just have an imaginary counting like you're counting the button one just count this is hole one hole two hole three hole four so we have hole one hole two hole three hole four so what you want to do basically is from the under part of course you should know at what spot you want your button to be from the under part you have it there and then you want to pass it through the first hole that's hole one you want to pass it through hole one so let's say this is hole one remember the way we counted it and arranged them so you want to pass it through hole one there you go and then it goes out through hole two see let's go again you're going to go on the through hole one and it goes out through hole two so at this point i realized my video was muted and i didn't even know so I'm going to do a voiceover, pardon me please. So we are going to be doing the same thing, moving in from hole one, the first hole, and then we'll go out through hole two. You want to do it, do this like five to six times, that way, five to seven times, that way you know that your button is firmly secured. So going on, we are now going to be passing, after you've gone out through hole two, the next thing you want to do is come in through hole three and then you go out through hole four so the same thing you did for hole one and hole two we are going to be doing the same thing for hole three and hole four so we are coming in through hole three from the wrong side to the right side where the bottom is and then going out through hole four so you want to do this for five to six rounds that way you're very sure if you do it like two three four most times the button comes off because it's not firmly secured on your fabric so what you want to ensure 
is that you have it like for me five is my sweet spot so once i have it five times i'm okay but please don't exceed seven times why because you don't want it to be too bulky aesthetically it's not pleasing to the eyes it looks too bulky and then it looks tacky so you just want to have it highest at seven rounds of the thread so yeah you can see i'm passing it through from hole three to hole four and when i've done that five times in my own case here five times what i'm going to be going on to do is to secure it at the back so here i'm still passing it on and then after that i'm going to secure it at the back this is what the button looks like and then for tying it and securing it firmly at the back what you want to do is to pick a tiny piece of your fabric like so just pick a tiny piece of the fabric and then you hold the tail end of your thread <coughs> the one closer to the eye of the needle you hold the tail end of your thread and then you pass it round the pointy part of the needle and then pull out that way you've knotted your thread at the back this is just to reinforce it and secure it on your fabric so you want to do this like two to three times and then you cut off your thread and you're done so yeah i'm running it i'm running it through the second time hold it through hold the thread at the end of the needle and then you pass it round like so and pull after you've done that you want to cut your thread off and then your button is ready that's how you sew in a button by hand see looks neat and simple so now for our second design we are going to be doing basically the same thing but then with alternating sequences so instead of going coming through one and going out in two we are going to be coming through one and then going out in four so one to four two to three that's the sequence we are going to be using for this second one so you're coming through one come through one and then you go out through four you do this for five times just like the first one or you can do six or seven depending but try not to go higher than seven because you end up with a very bulky um, thread on your on top of your button and it's usually not a good size so after you might have gone done your five rounds or six rounds then the next thing you want to do is come through two come through two then you go out two through three see just like so you might have done that the same way we knotted the back you pick a tiny piece of your fabric you see just pick a tiny piece of your fabric from the back 
and then alternatively instead of tying it the other way you can do this when you have just a little hoop of your thread what you want to do is just pass it through it you see you pass it through it and then you've tied let's go again pass it through the fabric pull when you have just a small hoop you see and then you've knotted you've knotted your thread Let's